Hi guys, in this show we are going to learn how to build Excel like grid structure in Power Apps to get a nice and easy to use user interface for viewing, editing records and write back to any data source. Let me show you a quick demo of what we are going to build in this show. It is an Excel kind of grid which is editable for the third column. Now for example, if I want to update the mode description of mode code 103 and want to remove private car from here, you will see the dots above. That means write back is happening and you see the mode description is updated here as well. This table is connected to a live Excel. So write back has happened there and then the same values are displayed in this data table. This drop down is just for filtering this data table for the arrival or departure mode. So if I select departure, you see this table is filtered for the departure rows. So this is a kind of uh, Excel look table which will be uh, kind of user friendly and uh, it will give a good user experience basically. So let's dig in and see how we can build this screen. So on my screen you see it's a single screen app just for the demo purpose and it has three objects gallery which is this bottom table the drop down which is this one and a data table so we will going to build this screen by scratch you have to go to the insert tab click on new blank screen okay now add a data table which is here we have to select the OneDrive connection here for that particular Excel go to properties and you see the data source is selected add the fields I'll add all those three fields okay you will see the data is popped in here adjust this data table accordingly now add a drop down filter by this input drop down okay here we will select the data source again and the code is selected here so if we go and click on preview the app or we can press the alt button here and see the preview you will see the data and arrival values are getting repeated so what we have to do here is we have to add a distinct of mode distinct okay so what it will do is it will give only the distinct values as you see here it's only arrival and departure now we have to filter this data table according to the selection of this drop down as of now there is no filtering happening in the data table so in the items value of the data table we have to filter the mode according to the drop down to dot selected dot result
okay so if you see if i select arrival here it's get filtered here as well now create a gallery which will look like an excel so let's select a vertical gallery blank vertical select the source adjust the gallery accordingly to fit your screen let's select this and add an item from the insert pane add a text label three times label accordingly adjust this cell okay now go and add a text input so for this one remove that and add a text input as this field will be an editable field okay. align the cells accordingly so that it's it looks like an grid now as you see the first column displays arrival the second column displays the uh, value of the mode code and the third one displays the default text so here we have to display the mode description okay now this is the default text but what about if we have to edit this value it has to write back so we have to select on change here select the on change property it's currently false what you have to do is you have to do a patch to the original table which is mode and do a lookup look up basically in the mode column with the mode code equals it should be equal to this value this mode code should be equal to this value then do the patching so we give here is label 3 dot text okay now if this condition is fulfilled do the patch work for mode description mode description equals the text input one dot text this mode has come two times yeah now you see this code seems to be correct now what you have to do is select the gallery and move this up okay you see an excel like cells appearing okay now what else you can do is to make it look more good is select these cells go to home and align horizontally it will give a more good look just select all these three you have to give a border color here border color suppose black okay. now if we go and preview this app now suppose if we 
have to update this description again for 103 you see the above table it's ambulance and we are going to update this 103 to ambulance private car press enter you will see right back is happening and boom our mode description is updated so this is how you can give a good user interface which will be beneficial for users this is just a quick demo on a single screen but you can enhance this functionality in your app this is just an idea of how you can get an excel grid kind of look hope this video helped you in your project or some business app if you like this video give it a big thumbs up thank you and see ya